All right. Hi, and welcome back to The Learning Project. So I am going to take you into the classroom so that you can learn about what to do, where to go, and how does everything work. So as you can see, my screen's going to look a little different here, you guys, because I've already started this program. And so it's got a lot of the little areas that you may not actually see on your side because you are a student versus the actual um, trainer. So a couple things I would like for you to remember. One, up here are some important icons. One, this goes over your um, profile, um, how, if you need help, what to do, logging out. Um, this is the little icon. It almost looks like a little world, but it, it will list all of your classes that you were signed up for. So you will be looking for the 30 hours start training. I do teach 120 hours for the CBA, so that's probably what you're seeing. Um, then you will have a ton of responses that you have made and maybe responses that I have given back to you um, throughout your program. So the first thing that you're going to see on your page here is the home page. And one of the things I want you to remember is that the home page has a lot of great detailed information. Um, for example, oh, there it goes. <laughs> It is an active page, so it will, some of these will automatically go off, so I apologize. Um, it will go over outcomes, what you're going to be learning, what you're going to be going over, why this is required. I want to remind you that this is typically not a requirement that um, centers actually have you do. It's actually something that the state is mandated. So for those that are like, well, why don't we um, have to do certain things or... Um, why doesn't it work this way? That is why. So all of the centers have basically aligned with the requirements from the state. And that is why we do the 30 hour stars training. It goes over policy procedures and all of the different pieces that go along with being an educator in the early childhood field. Um, the next thing that I would like to remind you of is the announcements. So the announcements here are going to go over anything important that you may need to know. Um, it's going to go into anything that has been done into the classroom, if there's any updates or anything like that. I'm not going to open this up because there are there is some confidential um, information that I definitely want to make sure we protect. We also have here um, in this area my contact information. So if you want to contact me um, and call me and go through different things with me, you are more than welcome to do that. The next thing I would like you to do is click on the little tab that says start here. This is where you're going to find all of your modules. When you open up your modules, you'll see a little pie chart and it will say how much you have completed. Um, you're going to complete these three different areas. Um, I do want you to know that at the end here, module five, you're going to start seeing the modules change in which you are only gonna have one module that you will need to complete versus three. So six through 10, you only have one module, which is the videos and the reflections. The reason why we do this is because some people do not like speaking out loud in the classroom. Um, and so this is a way to make sure that everybody participates and everyone has the opportunity to speak out and share their experience. One of the things I would like you to also be aware of is there's a course feed area where you can actually see all of the different posts that are taking place, um, as well as if you want to reply to any of them, you definitely can as well. So I definitely want to keep that. I want you to keep that in mind as you move forth with the program. After you've completed all of these trainings, sorry. <laughs> After you've completed all of these trainings here um, in module one through 10, you will receive a certificate. So you will have one place here I do want to just put out there. This is the in-class information that we're going to go over and all of the activities that we're going to do. There's going to be some paper handouts that we will go over in the classroom, as well as we will um, share the Washington administration code. I have a book that we'll be using as well as the child care guidance book um, that will be available as well in class. That is what, the way the classroom works. And those are the most important things that you need to be aware of. Please remember 
use your computer or a tablet if you have one. Um, you can use the app if you like. It works well when it works well, um, but I do want you to be mindful of that. Um, if you have any problems or anything that's glitching, please let me know right away. I want to remind you that this is a new platform, so there'll be a few little glitches here and there. Um, so please be patient um, and please partner with us as we create and develop an amazing training that's interactive and engaging for our teachers. Well, that is all, you guys. I just wanted to go over all of these different pieces that you need to know in order to be successful here at The Learning Project. Looking forward to hearing your voice in the classroom.